Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forutech. As I shifted to the non-retrofit Android 13 based custom ROM and reviewed some major custom ROMs like the Rising OS and Superior OS. I have given their video review links under the video description. Very few non-retrofit custom ROMs currently present and one of them is official CR Droid by the developer and maintainer Terminator J. Till the date I didn't review this ROM but because of requests of some subscriber and their positive reviews. Regarding this ROM, I decided to review that today. If you are new to our channel, please do like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for in-depth reviews of all the custom ROM and mods for OnePlus 6 and 60. I am trying to give the new life to such old devices through my work. Currently ROM having the 19th April stable build, speciality of ROM is that it comes without the G apps so you can use any kind of G apps along with it. It has all the major features and I failed, it has more stability and performance. Flashing of this ROM is same like we did for the most of TWRP flashable ROMs. Only difference is that you have to first flash the ROM and then flash the G apps and rest of the steps are same. Please follow the video given under the video description for the installation. All the things I already completed, so today we will do complete in-depth review of this ROM like about phone details of the ROM. What's working as it is the first build we are testing. I did full performance review and its comparison with the Rising OS and Superior OS. Finally at the end I shown some bugs and the issues in the ROM along with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. It's a new Phone started to boot into the amazing boot animation of CR Droid, which has some feel of pixel boot animation, which I like it the most. Clean flash is recommended, so we got this CR Droid setup screen. Once it's done, phone boots to this CR Droid launcher with the Galaxy wallpaper. Let's move to the part 1 about phone details of the new ROM. If you check the Android version section at the top, who gets the big CR Droid logo? Android version is Android 13 with the same material clock register egg. This CR Droid version is 9.3 and soon we will get a 9.5 with the May security patches. Actually there is already release candidate 1 build of 9.4 version is available, you can also flash that. As this is a stable CR Droid 9.3, it has the mass security patches, CR Droid 9.4 release candidate has the April security patches. Kernel version is 4.9.337 and speciality is that it's built it with the most latest Google Clan Toolchain 16. Rising OS and the Superior OS developer used the GCC Toolchain version 14 for building their kernels. Kernel is enforcing build date of ROM is 19th April 2023. This stable build I am reviewing now has all the old sources because developer Terminator J maintains this ROM regularly but with the monthly frequency. He releases first some test build like release candidate first and second. And finally stable build, that's why sometimes you may get late OTAs. But stability is hard for such update which is important. Now first we'll do the performance testing of this ROM. Let's check out is it capable to beat Superior OS or Rising OS. Initial impression of ROM is very good, apps are running smoothly, apps opening, closing, switching between application is faster, scrolling and swiping is also very good. Visibility Superior OS, Rising OS and CR Droid has same stable performance. But Rising goes as some jitter while using the quick setting panel. If you check the screen FPS using the OnePlus Extra setting, it goes down to the lowest FPS like the 4 5. But when you start to use the device, it goes against to the higher side like 60 50 FPS, which is battery saving adaptive mode of the ROM, we didn't get the force FPS setting in the device. When I ran the Geekbench 6 test for the CPU performance, I got the score of 559 and 1998 for the single and multi core respectively. For Rising OS, these values were 556 and 2021. For Superior OS, these values are 556 and 1963. Only slight difference you can find between all of these three ROMs. Next I did the OpenGL graphics API test and here I got the score of 2014 and for Vulkan graphics we got the score of 1993. For Superior OS, these values were 2017 and 1933. For Rising OS, OpenCL were more than 2K and Vulkan graphics score was 1935. So Vulkan score is slightly better for CR Droid as compared to both of these ROMs. But still, on the basis of ranking, Rising OS can be ranked as first place, CR Droid at second and Superior OS as third one. 
but visibly you can't differentiate all of these rom they are battery smooth next i did the ui bench jitter test using the jitter test option available under the oneplus extra setting if you open the setting it will show you the jitter values at the top and its graph with the blue line at the bottom jitter values here i got below 0.5 millisecond all the time which is very good value I use some application during the test they are scrolling and swiping and inbuilt activities like touch response all felt very good even simultaneously using this application I checked jitter values they remained below 0.5 with the slight fluctuations if you check the old rom reviews there also got the same jitter values this 6 year old device still the date has very good performance because of the amazing job of developers now it's time to tell you is it daily drivable build or not by testing all the basic functions Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot are working well and you get the Wi-Fi band selection option like 2.4 or 5 Hz. Bluetooth is working and it has all the HD audio working codecs. NFC and GPS location are working. Allo slide is working with its indicators. VoLTE incoming and outgoing calls are working. Wi-Fi call-in setting is available and is also working good. Call recording is available and is working. You will find recorded calls under the call recording folder of file manager. Auto brightness working with the good accuracy of lux values. Fingerprint and the face unlock both are working with the good accuracy. All the sensors like the accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity, compass, light, magnetometer all are working fine except these other important things like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, loudspeaker, display and multi-touch are working very good. Now it comes the most important part that is camera. ROM has the OnePlus camera application. It has all working functions like 4K system face video recording. Portrait mode for the both the front and selfie camera are working with the good blur effect. Nightscape mode, slow motion mode are working. Here is a sample for the slow motion. Similarly, time lapse is also working. Panorama mode and Pro mode are working well. Overall camera is fully working and the camera pictures and video quality are very good. So no need of Gcam for this ROM. Both the Superior and Rising OS has same fully working OxygenOS camera. ROM also comes with the OnePlus Gallery application and is fully functional. Next important part is Safety Net is got successfully passed. So you can use all the banking and security applications in this ROM. Even device storage is encrypted so your personal data is safe if your pin locked device got stolen or misplaced. Let's check out the features available in the ROM. ROM is moderately customizable. All the major and important customizations are available under the CR dot setting. Here we get all the features categorized in the different slider tabs. Let's check out the important customizations only. Now under the status bar we get all the old and family customizations. But who gets the one tab called as the show Wafa standard. If we enable this who gets the Wafa standard like 4 or 5 near the Wafa logo in the status bar. Under the quick setting tile who gets the settings to move the brightness slider to the top or bottom of the QS panel. QS panel background transparency and hide label setting gives some clean and fancy look to the QS panel. Quick setting panel animation setting is available and you get the X axis and Y axis types of animations. Data users toggle available and it shows us the current data users at the bottom of quick setting panel. Clear all button toggle is available but we didn't get the too much customizations for this option. Under the lock screen setting you get the weather condition toggle. This will enable the weather condition on the lock screen. Double tap to sleep on the status bar and on the lock screen are available and they are working along with the double tap to wake. Under the navigation tab you get the navbar pixel animation. If you are using this old navbar it will give us this pixel animations. Under the buttons tab you get the volume rocker wake up setting and is working well. Keyboard cursor control is another setting. It helps us to move the cursor during typing the text by using the volume up and down buttons. Volume buttons answer call is new setting I got here. Under the user interface who gets the amazing features, first one is the always on display customizations. Who gets the always on display music ticker toggle to display ongoing songs on the device. If you like the always on display but it drains the battery then you can use some options like tilt, pick up, hand wave or pocket mode toggle to display the always on display. If you selected the pick up mode then if you pick up the phone when it plays anywhere it will immediately pop up the AOD and turns off it after few seconds. Hand wave is another setting where you have to just move the hand over the proximity sensor to wake up the always on display. 
Pocket mode will wake the AOD only when you remove the phone from the pocket. It also uses the same principle of proximity sensor. If some apps not running with the full screen mode, then you get the option to use the full screen mode in the setting. Some screen op animations are available like the CRT and scale, but this only works if the AOD mode is off. Monet theming setting available which helps to tune the different aspects of the device monet themes. Using the navbar setting, we can change the look of navbar panel. Under the fonts tab, we get the bunch of the fonts along with the nothing dot font. Some lost screen clocks fonts are available under the clock font setting, but I didn't find in my favorite road rage font here. Except this, we get the system icon packs, Wi-Fi and network signal icons, app drawer icon shapes too. Under the notification panel, we get the flashlight blinking for the incoming calls. It works, but sometimes it's buggy. Under the sound, we get the music pulse setting. Lastly, under the miscellaneous setting, we get the gaming mode to tune the, your gaming experience, unlock higher FPS in the games, Netflix HD resolution spoofing. These are some toggles, but I don't know these are working or not. You can check and tell us under the comment section is it working for you or not. Parallel space is available to add the multiple users and their duplicate applications. Smart charging is setting to add the stop or start triggers for the charging. So you can lengthen the device battery. Sensor block per package is another setting to disable the sensor access to any system or user application. So ultimately it saves more battery. Pocket mode detection is another setting to save device battery by blocking the accidental wake up of the screen. If you enable this toggle and when the AOD mode is on, if you try to block the proximity sensor, it turns off the display. If the AOD is off, but if you block the proximity and try to turn on the display, it will show us the pocket mode warning and turns off the display. Overall, this prevents the accidental wake up of the phone and saves the phone battery. Weather service setting has the customizations control for the lock screen and the home screen clocks. These are some amazing and essential customization we've seen under the C-Hardware setting. Like all the custom ROM, we get the OnePlus device extra setting, like color slider customization, manual and automatic brightness modes, power efficient work cues, earpiece and microphone gain control, jitter taste and vibration motor haptics control setting. Now let's check out some C-Hardroid launcher customization. It's a feature rich launcher like all the other custom ROM. It has the icon customizations under the home screen setting, we get the double tap to sleep on the home screen. Wallpaper zooming, hot seat background for the dock icons, advanced at a glance feature, music search and theme icon for the dock icons. Under the app drop, we get the theme icons toggle, app search bar, etc. For recent panel, we get all the shortcut buttons like the memory bar, screenshot, lens, clear all, and new shake phone to clear all applications. Under miscellaneous setting of the launcher, we get the advanced features like the app lock and hide applications, taskbar, etc. Taskbar is fully working now. Except this, the ROM has the unlimited photo backup feature working for the Google Photo application. Who gets the audio effects music equalizer to tune the device audio? As the ROM is official, who gets the OT update and the system tab of the main setting? You will get all the OT notification if any update release and can be installed automatically via this setting. These are all the important parts of the ROM we discussed. Now comes the section bugs and issues. Some of these bugs are already present for all the ROMs. First bug is for lift to check the phone feature. It's available under the display setting of the phone. Even if I enable this setting, screen is not waking after lifting the phone. Next is the wide one security is on L3, so we can't able to run the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Who gets the Netflix spoofing toggle under the miscellaneous setting of the CR Droid setting? If someone using the paid service of Netflix, then please tell us under the comment section is it working for them or not. Media cover art feature is not working for all the ROMs including this ROM. No blur effect of the media were found even if we enable this setting. Music pulse visualizer only working on the lock screen, it's not working on the now bar and on the always on display. These are only few bugs we've seen which are not deal breaking except that everything is absolutely fine and you can use this ROM as a daily driver. ROM is moderately customizable, it doesn't have heavy customizations like rising OS, but still all the important customizations who gets here. ROM updates are not frequent like rising OS and superior OS, only monthly updates who gets here after intensive testing. Who will report this battery life after 2-3 to three days of usage? 
प्लीज गिव अस सम टाइम सो दैट इज फॉर टूडे गाइज होप यू लाइक एम वर्क दैन प्लीज डू लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब अर चैनल प्लेस द ब्लैक ऑन फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अपकमिंग कंटेंट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग स्वीन एस टाइम टेक केयर बाय